Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV Housing with me, Mioni. This time we're looking at one of the items I didn't look at in 6.25 and this is the tatami loft. Now tatami mats and things like that are traditional obviously in Japan and as you can see here I'm showing off the tatami flooring that you can get as well as the tatami mat that you might be familiar with already in the game. So you already kind of get where this is going and the newer item is the tatami loft which is a cloth craft recipe for level 90 it's not masterwork related and it requires the use of one of those tatami mats and four integral lumber so it's not a particularly difficult recipe and uh, the actual mat itself is a one star level 50 recipe with rush grass straw cotton yarn and a field craft demi material one so it's not too difficult but this is then what those lofts look like um, and it says an elegant space, perfect for tea, repose, or risking one's life while playing Karuta. Of course, a lot of people will uh, will get those references. And uh, a lot of people have probably seen these uh, mostly from anime. I think that's where I've seen um, these the most in, in my experience. I've never been to Japan, unfortunately. One of, one of these days I would love to. But as you can see, this is what the loft looks like. I've just sort of plopped it any old place. We're going to use some wooden steps to create a way up there. Just nice and easily on the wall here. That should be fine. Uh, let's just let's just bodge this together for a minute. It doesn't really matter. But yes, so this is what the actual loft itself looks like. Now, lofts obviously have all sorts of furniture of, you know, requirement restrictions. So you can't place things that would normally be floor placed on here. Um, only tabletop items will work. However, of course, there are plenty of people in the community that will get around that by glitching things up there using various levitation things. One of the things I want to point out here is how beautiful the underside of this loft actually is. It's got this checkerboard wooden card thing. So unlike a lot of the lofts that they add to the game for housing, um, this one is very pretty underneath. It's not just a basic texture. You can see all of the wood grain effects look, and it looks like it's actually been carved out of a, a massive piece of wood or lots of bits of wood have been put together with that. And then of course on the actual top of this item you have a familiar mat. But I like the idea of lofts. I think lofts are of a way forward but what I think they should do is make it so that there are separate um, rules for this that I do allow for furniture placements for things like chairs and seats and things like that. Um, would it really be so difficult for them to do? Probably not. I don't think so, but I don't know anything about, uh, you know, the restrictions on this game. I always know that there's, there's plenty of reasons that there are restrictions there in the first place. So, of course, um, we can change the colour of the mat itself. Let me just throw my character through there and we'll have a look at this it's probably best if I just do it like that so the color changes on the outside and not the inside you will notice that the underside is what dies as well more importantly so maybe this angles better of course that means that you're framing the actual mat from above as, as you can see I mean if we zoom out that's what it looks like from above so the various different dyes we've got, we've got whites and things, it changes the, the colour. Obviously you're going to end up with better results with either contrasting colours um, other than darker colours like reds and, and blacks. Um, brighter colours work and then different wood grains will work. I quite like this sort of colour, like a good pumpkin orange that really pops the mat out. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice loft, isn't it? I'm surprised, honestly. I thought this was going to be horrible. I thought it was going to have a horrible un underneath because oftentimes that's overlooked. But yeah, this is really nice. And obviously, if you wanted to, you could probably glitch this around and uh, make the most out of the underside more than the actual top side. I think that's probably what most people will try and aim for because it would be really nice just to have flooring like that, wouldn't it? But the other way up. Anyway... What do you think about this? Have you got these yet? I'm sure a lot of people have got these. Um, it is a really cool option. They're not too expensive to craft, which is one of the nice things about this. So the accessibility is definitely up there. But yeah, really cool stuff. Anyway, 
Much love. Enjoy the rest of my videos as I bring them out. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.